Picture this. As I come across the finish line, my heart was pounding, my legs were screaming at me, and no breath seemed to have enough air. My body was made of, up of lactic acid, and the voice in the back of my head was starting to ask, why, Zach, why this sport? But I knew there was no turning back now. I had to face my fear of defeat and step into the fire, pushing what I thought was my body's limit. But as I came closer and closer to the finish line, I realized that more and more of my potential was revealed. And so I crossed that finish line faster than ever before. This feeling of surpassing myself is something I strive for every day, and what I believe many others do too. The feeling of not only proving others wrong, but proving myself wrong. Whether it's getting that grade on a test, or starting a new hobby, people have always found redefining their abilities a source of motivation in life, or what they thought was impossible at first. Impossible has been redefined many times. It was done when the first sub-four-minute mile was ran in 1954, or when Mount Everest, the mountain that seemed impossible to climb, was ascended in 1953, or even me, standing in front of you today, impossible, has been redefined. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Zach, and I'm here today to motivate you to redefine your impossible. Now, I'm not here to tell you to go out and break world records or go to the next Olympics, but I'm here to remind you that you, achieve, you accomplish your goals in life. And I believe that the key ingredient to accomplishing your goals in life comes from grit. But what exactly is grit? Well, grit is the perseverance and passion for a long-term goal. It's the ability to keep moving despite adversity. Basically, when things get hard, you're going to need to work harder. Angela Duckworth, the world's leading expert on grit, stated that grit may be more important than IQ or talent in predicting success. So now that we know what grit is, how do we develop grit? Well, I believe that grit is a simple three-ingredient recipe, just like my morning toast. You have the bread, you have the peanut butter, and you have the banana. Now, although the ingredients to grit may be harder to purchase, once you get hold of them, you are way more likely to achieve your goals in life. So I believe that the first ingredient to, to developing your grit is finding an intrinsic motivation. I like to call this the eye of the panther, because a panther is fierce, proud, and brave. It is motivated to catch its prey and will do so. You can imagine your goal as your prey, and you'll need to be motivated to catch it. You need to believe in yourself, because those that believe they can get better realize that efforts make them stronger. You need to set a long-term goal and find that motivation to accomplish it. You need to make sure that this motivation comes from within, because if you're doing it for the money, you're probably doing it wrong. Lionel Sanders, a Canadian triathlete, is a clear example of the importance and power of finding that internal motivation. As he went from a college drug addict, he wanted to change his life around and found a goal of, of wanting to become one of the best triathletes in the world. Only five years later, he was able to accomplish this goal. His motivation comes from his motto, No Limits, in which he believes that if you work for it, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Like Lionel Sanders, believing in yourself is a huge factor in resilience. Believing that you can get to that finish line will help you work for it. However, you must realize that this finish line might not come today, and that this finish line might not come tomorrow. And maybe one day, you'll start understanding that there's no such thing as a finish line, but more like water stops along the way, where you get to fuel up, hydrate, and keep moving through life. All right, now that we've toasted our bread, we need to add our peanut butter. The second ingredient to increasing your grit is to make sure that you are fulfilled with the right surroundings. You need to surround yourself with people that believe in you, people, the people that want the best out of you and will motivate you to become the person you want to become. However, as we all know, this often comes with hard choices. But what we seem to forget is that our behavior changes not only through pressure, but also happens unconsciously, in which we tend to uphold the values of the group we identify with even when we aren't around them. This means that it's important important to surround with yourself with good people because they shape your behavior. If we look at these two men, I love this picture, Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay on top of the world for the first time. When we look at this picture, we tell ourselves these guys have done it. They have climbed Mount Everest. They have reached the pinnacle of success. 
But let me tell you, this expedition wasn't just two guys trying to reach the top, no. This involved a team. A team who believed they could bring these two guys up there. A team who believed they could be the first, and a team who believed they could achieve. And that is what we should all do. We need to surround ourselves with people that care about us and want the best out of us. All right, the third ingredient. It's probably one of the most important ones. It's the one that makes this peanut butter toast so good. It's the banana. The third ingredient is finding a purpose in what you are doing. This involves having dreams and goals to motivate you and help you work for things. It's the fuel in your fire. It's something beyond what you have done or created. It's something that will get you out of bed in the morning and tackle these challenges every day and go to bed satisfied. But it's also about taking a step back and understanding how what you are doing helps contribute to the well-being of others. Because at the end of the day, I believe that we're not here for ourselves, but rather for others. If we look at this man, Bill Gates, multi-billionaire, we all know him. He found a purpose in building one of the biggest uh, softwares ever created, Microsoft. However, he wanted to redefine his purpose and created different global develop de development foundations in which he donated 95% or $17 billion of his income to these charities. Or Greta Thunberg, a 17-year climate activist with a purpose of motivating governments to act on climate change. And all these people have different purposes. So let me ask you, what is your purpose? The third ingredient is often the hardest one to find. It takes time, it grows, and it can develop. And it often changes. But it's, it's important to acknowledge that it's there, because a purpose is what will bring you through the other side at the end of a dark tunnel. It's what will help you persevere to those passions and those goals you want to achieve. In, in this year, in a pandemic where everything seems to be uncertain, it's important that we have our grit, that we persevere in challenging times where we all socially distance, where we're all wearing masks. We need to persevere and see this light at the end of the tunnel, and we can do so by having grit. So to conclude my TED Talk today, I want to remind you that you are capable of achieving whatever you set your mind to, that you have no limit. What you need to remember to find that internal motivation. Surround yourself with great people and find a purpose in what you're doing. Because greatness is within all of us. Thank you.